welcome back guys in the last two lectures we have discussed about the input elements in javascript so now in this video we are going to implement our first project in this tutorial user authentication means login system so to develop this project you just need to have some basic knowledge about bootstrap so remaining everything i am going to tell you so you just need some basic knowledge not a, you need not to be expert in bootstrap but you, you just have some bootstrap grid system or some, some bootstrap classes so before watching this tutorial make sure you have some good knowledge about bootstrap so this is the user authentication system here there is a beautiful gradient background in that gradient background we have a div with authentication area so here the first input with username and the second input with password so if you enter any invalid credential it will give the pop up as invalid credential so here these are the invalid now i'm clicking login here you can see invalid credential so if you click login without typing anything also it will give the error so here you can see please fill out this field so whenever you click the valid credentials only it will give the output as login successful so here the valid credentials are username javascript and password is udemy so these are the login credential for this authentication system so if you click login with these credentials it will give the output as login successful so without these two credential you give, whatever you give it will give the error as invalid so if you, here you can see invalid credential so this is the project what we are going to build it in this tutorial so without any late let's move into the visual studio code and start our project so here you can see the visual studio code is open now i am going to create a new file for this project so the file name is authentication dot HTML. So this is the file name, and in this file name, in this file only, we are going to create our first project, authentication project or login system. So first, I will create the simple HTML prototype. So here, I am changing the title from document to authentication. Authentication. So as I said in this project we are using bootstrap for styling so to use bootstrap first you need to go to the bootstrap website bootstrap so open this first link so you have to copy this first link style sheet link to use bootstrap style sheets in our classes so copy this link bootstrap cdn link and paste it in the header part head part so here I am pasting this link so whenever you add this link to the our project then the bootstrap will be added in our project so here I, I have added this link so the bootstrap is included in our project so now we are going to the actual part body part so if you observe the project first we have to add the background color so here there is a here this is the beautiful gradient background color so to get these type of beautiful gradient background colors we have a website with open source so that website name is web gradients so this is the website name webgradients.com in this website you can find unlimited number of web gradients for our projects so it is an open source website you need not to pay anything for this so here you can see these are the beautiful websites huge beautiful backgrounds so here copy your favorite background gradient background color so i will copy this pink color so you need to press this copy css file so after copying you need to add the background in the styling so here i will open the style part style so we have to add add the background to the entire application means entire page so that's why i'm adding background color to the body so body background color sorry we just need to paste the thing what we have copied so this is the the copy text so here we have copied the text you need to paste this in body so after that we have to set the body height to 100 per 100 vh so here the height is 100 vh sorry then only it will be applied to the whole body so now we will check whether it is applied successfully or not i will open google chrome so here i will write the file path e colon so here the file name is authentication.html so here you can see the background applied successfully 
so you can select any background not only pink as your wish you can select any here blue background red background all the backgrounds gradient backgrounds present in these websites so you can copy the css and paste it in the body style body so now we are going to add the next step this div so to add this div we have to use the bootstrap bootstrap grid system so bootstrap grid system contains 12 columns so we, we just need to use the four columns for our project so here first i will implement the bootstrap grid system div so here i will add the bootstrap class row so the bootstrap grid system contains rows and columns so here i want to use only four columns because the width of the this login div is very less so if you if you take the complete width we, we have to use the 12 columns so so I, i just want to use the four columns i want to place this div in center of the page so i will first i will take the four columns for the div so here i will take the div first div so i want to use only four columns that's why i will write the class name as call md4 or you can take five also so it's better to use four so that's when then only it's good it's look good so after this div class we have to use the form because we are working with authentication system user authentication system so whenever you want to work with more than one input field then it's better to use form tags so i will use form so here i will remove this action so in that form we have two input elements and one submit button so first i will give the two input elements input so here i will write the placeholder and class name the placeholder is username so here i will add the bootstrap class for this input so the class name is form control it is the predefined styling for input values form control so i will refresh the page once so here you can see a bootstrap input element is added so afterwards we will add styling to it first we will take the two inputs and one button so i will take the one more input and one button input so here the placeholder is password so here also the class is same form control form control so after these two inputs we have a button if you observe here after these two inputs we have a button so the button name is login so i will remove these two bootstrap and web gradients website so here is the actual project here is the developing project so by seeing this we have to develop this project so first we will add this button so here the we have to add the submit button input here the type is equal to submit and the value is equal to login so for this button i will add the bootstrap class as button primary class btn btn primary so if you use bootstrap we will we can decrease the our styling time so uh, otherwise we have to put the majority of our majority of our time to the styling only so that's why i'm using bootstrap framework so once we will check it here you can see we have added both two input elements and one button so if you observe here there is a h1 tag for this so that is the with the name authentication so i will add the h1 tag also here about the form about the form tag h1 authentication so here you can see authentication in two input tags and one login button so if you observe here there this content is placed in the center of the horizontal page so here the con the content is total left side of the page so now we need to place this content in the middle of the page middle of the horizontal so that's why we need to use the bootstrap class justify content center so in bootstrap there is a special class called justify content center so if you if you apply this class to the 
parent class means row class it will set the all the content to the center horizontally horizontally so once we will check it here we can see all the content added center so now we will add some background to this login div and we will add some margins and padding paddings to it so first i will add the margins and paddings so to access this div in the style tag we have to use the this class name so here the class name is call md4 so to write the styling for the class names we have to use the dot operator in styling so dot call md4 so first i will add the margin top margin top at least 100 px so i will refresh the page so here you can see it got down so now we need to add some margins to all these elements h1 element these input elements and this button element so now i will add some margin so input so i will add the margin top so margin top is equal to 10 px so here you can see the margin is added successfully it's looking somewhat better so now we need to place this authentication and login at the center of these input elements so if you observe here this authentication and login is center at the div so now we are going to add that property in this application in this website also so to add that we need to use the text center class in the both h1 so here class is equal to text center so whenever you add text center to any element it will be centered horizontally so here also i will use the class text center for button also so now i will refresh the page here you can see the text is added successfully the button is not added so once we will check it what's gone wrong so here we have added text center for input elements so the bootstrap text center class will not work for input elements so that's why we need to add this text center class in the column tag also column class so here we can add so whatever the elements we, we write in this call md4 class that will be centered horizontally if you write text center for this div so here we can see the output so here you can see the output so both h1 is centered and the login is also centered so now we need to add the background color to this login div so here you can see there is a beautiful background for this authentication div so now here we are going to add the background also so to get that background we need to open that web guardians websites so so we will take some light background sorry so this looking good copy css so we have to apply background this call md4 div because here we have the h1 tag above the form so we have to add the background color to whole div so we have to add the color to the h1 tag and also the input tag so that's why we have to add the background color to this div parent div so that's why i'm adding the background color to the call md4 so here i'm adding the background color pressing control s so now i will refresh the page so here you can see the background is added successfully so now we will add some border radius to this div and also some padding so here i will add some padding p20 padding 20 and border radius 10 px so i will refreshing so here you can see the output is as much as same in the this page also so authentication two input buttons and one two input elements and one button so here also authentication two input elements and one button so as of now we have completed the html part and css part so now we will move into the core part javascript part so i am removing this first application so this application only we are working so first we will i will open the script tags so first we need to write the on submit event so because after clicking the submit button only we need to check whether the given inputs are valid or not so that's why i will write the on submit event for this form on submit 
so here the function is validate so whenever you click on the submit button means login button this validate function will execute so i will open the function function so the function name is validate so here we have to write the actual program of this authentication so first we need to access the input elements values using javascript variables so first i will take two inputs where username equal to document dot get element by id username so here we have not written any ids for these input elements so to access these input input elements in javascript we just need to mention at least one property so i will mention id property id is equal to username so here the id is equal to password so document dot get element by id in these columns we have to mention the id name so after id name we have to take the value from that input elements so that's why we have to write value so here the second is so after value we have to write the second variable where password equal to document dot get element by id so in this equal to we have to write the id name here the id name is password so as of now we have taken these two input element values in the username and password so here i have not written the value so now we need to write the actual program using this username and password so we have to write the if condition so if the username is equal to something or password is equal to something we need to alert the pop up with login successful so if the values are not correct not correct we need to alert the pop up with invalid credential so first we need to write the if condition so if username equal to equal to javascript and operator so as you learn in other programming languages this is the and operator so password equal to equal to udemy so whenever the input value input username value is javascript and the password value is udemy then we need to get the alert with login successful else so if there is any error in the input input elements then we need to alert with invalid login credential sorry so that's it this is our program we need not to write anything more so i will explain the program once so here we are created a simple row in that row we have created a column so in that column we have created a form tag with three input elements so two are the normal inputs and the third input is the submit button so after clicking this submit button the console will move to the javascript to check the function validate so in that validate function we are accessing the two input elements username element and password element using the two variables username and password so after that we have checking the condition whether the user input value is matching this javascript and password so if the user input is username javascript and the password equal to udemy then the alert will come with the text login successful so if there is any change in the user inputs the alert will pop up with the message invalid login credentials so now we will move into the google chrome and check the output so i am refreshing the page so first i will write the valid credentials so the valid credentials are javascript and the password is udemy so i am pressing the login button so there is something mistake there is no pop up so we will check it what mistake we have did so what is the mistake so we will check it from the top of the page so here row column d4 h1 class so here here there is a mistake we have given the validate spelling wrong 
valley a d t e so here the validate spelling is wrong i will change the text d a t e so i'm pressing control s so now i will refresh the page so here i am entering the values javascript and the password is udemy so here you can see the login is successful because these are the valid credentials so i am pressing okay so if you give the any invalid credentials like so i will give the username as correct but i will use the password as something unexpected so i will press the login button so here you can see invalid login credential so because here the username is javascript and password is udemy so whenever you click the login button it will check the both the condition so if you write or operator it will check only one one condition so if the either username is correct or password is correct it will give the login as successful so but we have used the and operator and operator checks both the condition so whenever you want to check more than one condition in the if statements so we have to use the and operator so that's why it is checking both the condition so this is the user authentication program so once again i will explain from the starting of the project so here we have created a simple html page after that we have added the bootstrap because we are using the bootstrap grid system and some form control classes in our project so if you do not use bootstrap it will increase our styling time so that's why i have used bootstrap so here i have created a row in that row i have taken four columns so in that four columns i have created a form and one header header element h1 element with the name authentication so in the form tag we have two input elements the first element is username and the second element is password so we have the third input with submit button so whenever you click the submit button this function will execute on submit so whenever the form is submitted this validate function will execute so in that validate function we are we have written two variables and we have accessing these variables using the document dot get element by id methods so we are accessing the input values using these variables so after accessing the variables we need to check the conditions whether the username and java username and password is equal to javascript and udemy so if these values are matched hence the alert will pop up with login successful message so if there is any change in these values user input values so hence the alert will come with the message invalid login credential so so this is our project so here there is no any difficult part you should have some good knowledge about bootstrap only so before execute this project in your system make sure you have added the bootstrap and you have some basic knowledge about the bootstrap grid system thank you see you in the next class